All right, guys, we have more protein cookies on deck today. I'm still hunting for a great protein cookie. Pretty sure they don't exist, but that's not gonna stop me from trying. The ones I have today are Grenade Carb Killer. Here we go, we've got salted caramel. Yeah, this one's salted caramel, and this one's double chocolate. Now, Grenade is Ireland based, I think, product of Ireland. So these are Grenade biscuits for all of my friends in the United States. Those are cookies. It says underneath protein cookie, but pretty sure the rest of the world is adorable and calls them biscuits. We don't, but I think from the feel of these, there's two in each, and I think they're just little round cookies. They look from the photo that they're gonna be chocolate coated, so let's check it out. There's two in each, 100 calories per biscuit, five grams of fat, 11 carb, and then two fiber, and then six grams protein. So 100 calories, six grams protein. Uh, nothing super unique in the sense that they're not plant-based. They are, can you see that? They're vegetarian society approved. That's interesting. So they're vegetarian. I mean, I would imagine there would be no meat in this cookie anyway, because meat cookies or meat biscuits, eh. No, meat biscuits sound worse than meat cookies, I think. But they are not plant-based, was what I was getting at. There's whey protein and other milk product in it, but it's vegetarian, so if you don't eat meat, you can still eat these. So, let's get into it. Let's go. The top's a little bit melty, but for 100 calories, these are a pretty good size here. Size of my palm. Ugh, I, I'm wearing white, and I didn't bring a napkin out here, so this shirt's about to turn brown. There we go. Here is your double chocolate. It smells really good. The inside is nice and crunchy, but it's also a little bit gritty. So it's not quite like... Not quite like a crunch bar. It's similar to other protein bars I've had, so it's not much different than an actual protein bar. Consistency-wise, it's pretty unique. I really want to remember what protein bar this tastes like, but chocolate-coated like a lot of protein bars are, and then the inside is just a little bit crispy. <clears throat> Flavor-wise, that's not terrible. The salted caramel looks identical. Same size cookie, same chocolate. Guessing the inside's just a little bit different. Oh yeah. And then the inside we're working with salted caramel. Wow, that's very strong smelling of caramel. Very strong tasting of caramel. Not salty. When it comes to salted caramel, I really like when you could taste that the salt. Salty and sweet, I love. This isn't salty. That one's artificial tasting. A big knock on a lot of protein bars and cookies is that artificial flavor. That one has it. Mm. I would have liked this one a lot more if it, one, if they sprinkled salt on top, that would be a winner. But two, if there was actual caramel in it, I think that would make it a lot better. So it's just the caramel flavor. So. I don't know what they use here. They just got these crispies inside, so I guess they just mix that with whatever caramel flavor. So I, I'm very sheltered. I have not gone overseas very much. I went to Italy once, but I just ate pasta. Uh, so I don't really know what the cookie slash biscuit situation is around the world. I don't know if this is a common texture and consistency for it to be chocolate coated and then just like, crunchy on the inside. I definitely don't prefer that for a cookie. And these don't feel like cookies to me. So in comparing it to a normal protein cookie, it's definitely not an apples to apples comparison. This to me is just a protein bar in a circle. So if you took this and turned it into a little rectangle, it's a protein bar. 
so definitely not the protein cookie that I've been searching for. I think we're going five out of 10 right in the middle. That, I mean, that's average, five out of 10. I was hoping these were gonna be a lot better. It's a tough thing because they're not bad, but they're not what I wanted for a cookie or biscuit. I definitely wanted something different. And I mean, if you could pull off a soft baked cookie, that's significantly better for me. So as a protein bar, maybe six out of 10, but as a protein cookie slash biscuit, we're going five out of 10. Yeah, let's stick with it, five out of 10. So as always, hit me up in the comments, let me know if you've had these and how you feel about them and then still looking for a great protein cookie. So please give me your recommendations.